Good morning. You guys ready? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Feels like it's like one degree right now, bro. <laughs> Far out. I didn't even read what it said next to the time. I just thought it said 5 a.m. I reckon like, it's 5 a.m. departure, not get there at 5 a.m. <laughs> Dude, I just got the tick out in the mouth. Nah, fuck it's off, let me read. I don't believe you. You're a fucking YouTuber. <laughs> Departure time, 5 a.m. <laughs> it's 5.03. Yeah, we're five minutes away. <laughs> oh, we're so stupid. Is this a hot air balloon place? Yeah, just park over there on the side. Alright. Fuck, he's not seeing me. He's not happy with us. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving, guys. We're half an hour late. Oh. Yeah, camera bag is fine. Oh, dude, it looks, looks like, like something, something from Minecraft. Don't you yeah, reckon? it looks like a, like a creeper. creeper. Yeah, yeah. Don't, you, don't you think this is like the most uncoordinated yeah, event look, ever? Look, the film is. Like... Oh, the way. Four, one, two, three, go. Okay. Hey, look. They get it. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Both of them are rising because of the hot air. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Look at that, it just topples over. This is very unique. Here we get. This feels so weird. What? This feels so weird. I now have a fear of heights all of a sudden. This is so weird because I'm not climbing or anything. I'm just floating upwards. Because it's so silent, and then all of a sudden... <laughs> yeah, this is the weirdest sensation ever, because there's no wind up here at all. Like, we've picked a really good day to do it. Like, I could imagine if it was going to be super windy or really shit conditions, it probably we probably wouldn't have flown because this seems like a really fragile and <laughs> delicate thing to do. But it's such a unique experience because you literally float. It's not like a rush of speed and then aviation. You kind of just, like, float upwards with no noise, except for when the burners kick in, and then it's really funny. Do you think you're over your fear of... <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty cool about it. You're pretty cool? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good about it. That's about you're like you're inside, like, you're like, I'm Miguel, actually fucking terrified. Yeah, no, yeah. Hold it, hold it. The thing was, I thought it was gonna be really cold, and that's what I was much more scared about. <laughs> so how many so pairs, got, like, how many garments do you have on right now? Four. <laughs> <laughs> I had two trousers. <laughs> but I was Miguel, Miguel, yeah. how do you feel, hype? Because you were freaking out about so, it. Yeah, but actually it's not that bad. So do you think you've conquered your fear? Yeah, I think. What is yeah, that? Like, <laughs> that's what I want to It's talk. actually my old event photography camera. Uh, Sony. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> good, I'm just checking. Now seems like a pretty good time to do a Q&A. <laughs> How old were you when you started photography? I was about 12 years old, I think, when I started using a camera. And then when I was about 15, 16 years old, that's when I actually took photography a lot more seriously. And I've been doing it like professionally, I guess, as a career for the past four years. Just come to Moscow. I would love to come to Moscow next year. Well, we want to hit up Toronto. We want to go England. We'd love to go to Germany. Oh, okay, yeah, come, come and visit. Favorite lens for street photography. I really <laughs> like using the 40 mil right now, but also recently we've got the 105. <laughs> This is a good question. What happened to photogenic phones? I, want, I don't want to say like we shut it down, but we literally, we kind of had to because we were, not even we were, we are. Like we are very busy making YouTube stuff. Like, so we kind of wanted to take a break for a little bit because there was a lot of time we were pouring into it where we wanted to nurture YouTube a bit more. We wanted to focus more on creating YouTube videos for you rather than trying to start a company. And so juggling a company, and while trying to do YouTube full time, I guess you kind of figure that out, but it was, yeah, it was very hard to juggle both of it. So we just kind of like sort of put the brakes in it for a little bit and then we can come revisit it later. Oh, we get to go inside at the end. <laughs> That's so cool. You could live in here far out. This is massive. This is literally the size of like a mansion in here. It's ridiculous. Imagine having a ceiling this high in your house.
months ago, we were in Stockholm, Sweden, and we were invited to come over by Epidemic Sound. And when we were there, we met a whole bunch of different people. Some of the people that we met were these two German boys called Miguel and Philip Dorset, and they make videos about photography, just like me and my boys about going out there and trying to get the shot. They do that, but in German. And I guess if you are German, you may even know of them because they're quite well known in the German community for photography. I get a message from them a few weeks ago saying, hey, Mike, we're going to be down in Melbourne, Australia, because if you've been watching some of these videos, you would know that I work a lot with Epidemic Sound, and that's where I find all my music. That means my videos on YouTube can still get monetized, and I don't have to worry about copyright strikes and all that kind of shit. And Epidemic Sound messaged me, and they were like, hey, Philip and Miguel are coming down. Can we organize something for you, like an activity for you guys to do? And at first, I was like, oh, you're like, what, what can we do? You know, maybe we can go rent some cars, or maybe we can, you know, go do an escape room. Right, that's what I that's what I said. Like, let's do an escape room. And they were like, Yeah, but we want like something a bit more thrilling, something a bit different. So I was like, how about skydiving? And they were like, you know, maybe not skydiving, maybe that's a bit extreme. Uh, what about like hot air ballooning? And so I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. I've never been on a hot air balloon before, and I don't think any of the boys have. And in fact, I don't really know many people that have been on a hot air balloon, to be honest. It's such a weird thing to do. Got everyone together and Epidemic Sound actually sponsored the whole thing. So they paid for the whole hot air ballooning experience. Anyway, yeah, I pretty much just want to say thank you to Epidemic Sound for getting us all together and giving us a cool experience. You can sign up to Epidemic Sound to get copyright free music. And I think it's usually $15 a month or so. But if you use that link down below, that's linked in my bio there. If you sign up with that link before the 28th of October, you will get three months for free if you use the code North Borders when you sign up. If you like it and you enjoy it, then you can obviously continue with it. But if not, then you can drop, drop off. And then, hey, look, it was free. Why not just give it a shot? Anyway, let's talk about the photos. I was like doing a lot of filming and stuff and I wasn't really concentrating on trying to take photos. And when you're up there, it was just the valley. So there wasn't a lot to photograph apart from like the clouds and the like, suburban houses. And the part that we flew over, it's not really a mountainy landscape, but I did get these shots of when the hot air balloon was getting started or was on the ground and the flame was going in. And I really like these shots, like especially the front on shot of the flame. But I like the other one, the back end shot where you can see the fire coming into the hot air balloon these things are so massive and the setup of them like i said in the video like it just feels so uncoordinated to do and then liam took some photos actually on the flight i really like this photo again i love stuff that has perspective so obviously the hot air balloon as big as they are it looks tiny in this shot compared to the rest of the clouds and stuff and then we've got some other shots here like the clouds liam holding the actual balloon i think that's a really cool perspective shot and Liam got a shot in the morning of all the fire going into the balloon as well. Like you can see all the color around the, the, the inside of it. In Melbourne, they do the hot air ballooning over the city. That is something I want to experience. These photos were all edited with my Lightroom presets. So if you want to get them, they are also linked in my bio. They come in a pack of 20 with 20 walkthrough tutorials. And they also come with the raw photos for you to fuck around with your editing and practice on or whatever. I hope I taught you something new in today's video. I experienced something new and I definitely learned something new about hot air balloons. So if you did like this video, leave a like down below and help me out by hitting subscribe. With that all said and done, I will see you in the next one. Hayden, Phil, give me a fake. Oh! Holy oh, crap! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Fuck! <laughs> my one. Oh! Holy shit! This is amazing!